what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog it is another beautiful beautiful morning here in new york city manhattan and i'm on my way to work again it is monday morning about 6 45 a.m it's a little hot this morning as it's been the last few weeks so i'm a bit sweaty but that's about par for this course so far um anyways I am on consult today slash all week and I'm not scheduled for any procedures this entire week so this should be fun. I'll be roaming around the hospital and I have no idea where anything is because I haven't even been to like the hospital floors yet. I just stayed in the basement. So brought the Yeezys, rock and comfort shoes today and I'll let you know how this week pans out. So just finished a first day of consults. It was quite, actually it wasn't too bad to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be far worse from what everybody was saying, but yeah, the pager rings like every five seconds and you have to like constantly stop what you're doing, answer a page and work up another patient. But honestly, I guess I'm just used to that coming from North Carolina where consults were pretty bad. We'll see how I feel at the end of this week because I have to do it for five days straight. Whereas North Carolina, I would only do consults for maybe like one day a week, max, and then I would do procedures the rest of the week. So it all depends. But either way, uh, I just saw a whole bunch of cool consults today. Actually, they weren't all interesting. They were just kind of basic and a few solid consults along the way. But nonetheless, it was pretty good. So I guess for those of you who don't know what consults are, I remember... I used to say consults, like everybody knew what consults were, and then I realized someone was like, they corrected me, and they're like, it's consult. And I was like, no, it's not in medicine, it's consult. Which is weird why we pronounce it differently than it's supposed to be. But only in medicine do we say consults rather than consult. We are the consultants that do consults or see patients that they consult us about for procedures. So they can pretty much consult us for anything they want, anything they need IR services for. For instance, if someone has clots in their lower extremities and they need us to put an IVC filter in for someone who cannot be on blood thinners, that's what we do. They consult us for it. We go and evaluate the patient, examine the patient, talk to the patient, consent the patient for the procedure and make sure they are okay with it. And then we talk about the risks and benefits of the procedure and we go through with the consent process, like I said and then we bring them down do the procedure and that's it so we do that over and over and over again and we get paged about other consoles that we don't end up doing because maybe the patient is not well enough for us to do them for a million other different reasons so that is a consult and i have four more days left and i'm gonna go home now get my youtube video ready for tomorrow eat dinner and do this all over again Tomorrow. What is going on, everybody? Let me mute this somehow. Hold on a sec. I don't know how to mute it. All right, so I've turned down the volume a little bit now. So it is 7.25 a.m. I'm currently in the fellow room right now. I'm currently watching a vascular lecture that we are given. We do a co-lecture with our vascular surgery residency uh, every Tuesday. And today it's on paclitaxel coated balloons and their efficacy. That's what I'm doing right now. We have board rounds after that where we go over interesting cases and then I'm going to start my day. I already have a full list of consults ready for me to go attack and I keep getting paged, which I transferred it to my phone. So I keep getting all these text messages about pages. So I need to answer those. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. What's going on everybody? And I'm not gonna bore you again with more consult talk. But I just finished the whole day of a ton of different consoles. I was running around all over the place. And uh, yeah, what's funny to me is on my last video with the Ferrari, everybody kept commenting on all the trash on the street. And that's just a New York thing. All the buildings are so tightly packed that the trash just gets placed on the street a couple times a week. And it gets picked up at some time, I don't know. But it feels like there's always trash 
on the street somewhere, trash and recycling bags piled up as high as you can see. I'll try to find some that are like super piled up, but it pretty much smells all the time every day on the street when there's trash out there. So that's really um, exciting. It's just kind of, you know, what you get living in New York City. I don't know. You just become used to it. You're like used to seeing trash all over the street, which sounds absolutely asinine as I say it, but it's just a New York thing. So anyways, heading home. Catch you in the morning. This is our lovely fellow room. As you see over here, we have the nice turn off heater sign, which I assume you would need during the winter, but not so much right now because it's 95 degrees out. Over here, we have a stockpile of chairs, a bag, and a random hospital chair. Also, we have a prison-esque style, it looks like a camping cot or something. I don't think anybody's ever touched this ever, but for some reason, if we need to sleep here, it's there. Then if you go into, oh wait, forgot about this. We have a nice uh, room separating hospital curtain because this must have been a hospital room at some point. Um, nobody ever uses this either. We have a whole bunch of cabinetry up top. And then the piece de resistance is our two desk and dual monitor system, which my co-fellow set up for us, which was very nice of him. And so we have two setups here, two chairs. Oh, there's the heater down there. I never even knew it was there. Um, a telephone, if you will. And we have a nice large fridge, which is like almost as tall as me. Microwave printer, my locker right here and my procedure shoes, which you may have seen before. And that's pretty much all that goes on in here. All right, so anyways, I just found an ID of one of my, I guess, residents already, oh, it is a radiology resident. Who would have thought? I found the ID of a radiology resident on the street outside, so I'm gonna go give it to them right now. And then to start my full day of consults, wish me luck. So, all right, so, that officially concludes this day and this week of consults. I think I'm going to relax a little bit this weekend, not do too much because next week is a big week because I'm on call for seven straight days for my first time on call here. So it should be quite an interesting experience to say the least. So if you want me to vlog my week on call, let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking about it, but I might be too busy. So if you want to see what a hardcore seven days on call is like, let me know and I'll film it. So otherwise, as always, smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'll see you all. Oh wait, by the way, giveaway is ending soon. I think I'm going to end it. I might extend it to like August 3rd maybe, just so we get this weekend and uh, I'll draw a name. So go check out my last post on Instagram, comment your favorite color, and I may pick you off of that post. I may pick you from my subscriber list and my Instagram list, but I'm gonna check all three. So you better be subscribed to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and follow Wear Figs on Instagram for your chance to win. All right, see you all on the next video.